Hello everyone, my name is Emma and I'm the Chief Scientist at Eyes on Science and today I'll be showing you how to process your TRPS data. This will require the Eyes on Data Suite to be installed on your computer. This can be downloaded from support.eyeson.com by clicking the link in the description below. Open the Eyes on Data Suite and click on the Open Data Files button. Navigate to your documents directory for your exoid data and open the folder for the investigation you would like to process. Select all of the files you would like to open for processing and click Open. Or click on the drop down arrow and select Open All. You can hold Control to select individual files or Shift to select a range of files. In the software, right click on Unprocessed Files and select Process Files. This can take several minutes for large datasets. Your datasets are divided into sample files and calibration files. If you need to change any of the details about a particular sample, this can be done in the Sample Details tab. To view various plots of the data, click on the drop-down menu and select the plots you would like displayed. To display all of the options, click on the corresponding icon, as shown here. The first thing to check when processing data is that the particle rate makes sense for your calibration and sample measurements. The particle rate should increase from pressure 1 to pressure 3. If the particle rates are the same at all three pressures, then the concentration calculation will not be accurate and that measurement will need to be repeated. This could be because your sample is too concentrated and the pressure changes have minimal effect on your particle rates. Or the pore could be partially blocked, so the flow of the particles is limited by this blockage. Another reason could be that because increasing the pressure decreases the size of your blockades, some of the smaller particles might not be counted at that higher pressure and the blockade rate could therefore be underrepresented. To prevent this from happening, you should optimise your running conditions so that the entire sample population is measured. To do this, ensure that the smallest blockade size observed from your sample at the highest pressure is at least 0.1 nanoamps. To calibrate a sample measurement, click on the checkbox in the calibrated column next to the sample you wish to calibrate. This will bring up the calibration menu. Check the multi-pressure calibration is selected in the menu on the left. Select the samples you want to calibrate and the calibration files with identical parameters will be displayed in the list below. Make sure the calibration files you want to calibrate the sample against are selected and click OK. On the Particle Analysis Summary tab, the mean diameter in nanometers and the concentration of the sample in particles per mil are now displayed. You will see that all values on the x-axis of the size graphs have now been converted from nanoamps to nanometers. If you need to change the calibration a sample uses, untick the box next to the sample in the calibrated column, then click the box again to return to the calibration menu. To filter your data, hover over the grey bar at the bottom left of the screen. This displays all data points in the data set in list form. The data can be sorted by each metric and individual data points can be excluded or included by clicking their checkbox. To apply a filter to the data set, click on the funnel icon. Then select the filter box in the category you would like to filter. Fill these in with the values you would like, and this can be a single range, multiple ranges, or just simply a less than or greater than value. After applying a filter to the data set, it must be recalibrated. This can be done by unticking the box next to the sample in the calibrated column and clicking that same box again to return to the calibration menu. To change the chart settings, click on the settings button for the chart that you wish to change this brings up the settings menu where the charts can be customised to your needs. To generate a report for the highlighted dataset, click on the preview button to view a summary of that sample. To create a report with multiple samples, click the drop down menu and select group report. Please contact us at support at eyeson.com for more information or if you have any questions. Thank you.